All right, I'm not sure why that keeps happening. If I don't constantly touch the screen and things, uh, we lose the uh, recording. It really should just continue recording while I'm talking. I don't understand why that is. So uh, we'll we'll say over here, Hilchusa. Yain Mazug, Amr Rav Hilchusa, Yain Mazug, Yesh B'Mishim, Gil Av Yesh B'Mishim, Nein Nesach. If it's diluted wine, it's subject to the prohibition of both uncovered liquids, and it can be co- You know, a, a snake might bite it, and a pagan might. Use it for an idolatrous purpose. It could become not kosher. But cooked wine, snakes don't drink it, and pagans don't serve it to their idols, and so therefore, uh, it remains kosher if it's uncovered, and it remains kosher if a pagan touches it if it's covered, as long as we're not worried that the pagan is going to switch it for not kosher wine. So if it's sealed, it's fine. Shemaya the Rav Chilkia Bar Toivi, Igalia he kissed to the Maya of a Hava Nayim Gaba. Also Gaba Rav Chilkia Bar Toivi Amalei, I am Rav Mus Yashin Aleihen. So Rav Chilkia Bar Toivi left some water, a measure of water, and he left it uncovered. So does it have a halach of Gilei? He was sleeping next to Rav Chilkia Bar Toivi. Asked if the water. Could be used. The rabbis told him that snakes are afraid of sleeping people, so he might did not come and drink the water. But it, the Gemara says that's only if you sleep during the day, but at night, no. The Gemara says no, there's no difference day and night, and we don't say that snakes are afraid of sleeping people. So it would be not kosher. You have to keep water covered even when you're sleeping. Rav lay shasi me bear a ma, Amalai is a here begile, where Malta shasi, Amasir Khadagar Nikita. Rav would not drink um, water in an Aramean home because they might leave it uncovered and snakes might drink it. Well, it's dangerous, but from a Jewish widow's home, you would drink because if her husband didn't was careful with the halach of Giloi. So she would keep the same minug that he had, whatever her hus- her late husband would do. Shmuel, I shas in Miami bear Malta, but Shmuel wouldn't even drink from water from widow's home. Amalei, aims to gavro, because she's not afraid of her husband. She's not going to cover the water. I'm not... Rusa, Mia Kafte. But he would drink from an Aramean home because he said the Arameans, even if they're not careful about leaving uh, water covered to keep snakes out, they're just worried about keeping the water clean. And so they're worried, you know, maybe something's going to fall from, from the roof or the ceiling, the sky. So they do keep their water covered. So some say, like we said, Rav <coughs> would not drink from the Aramean's home, but he would drink from the widow's home. This is the same. Shmuel Malta, but Shmuel would never drink water not from an Aramean's home, and not from a widow's home, a Jewish widow's home. Remember, Shub and Levi said there are three types of wine that you don't have to worry about keeping uncovered. And those are sharp wine, bitter wine, and sweet wine. Chad to the Kharifa. To Mitsari Zike. A sharp wine is a Tila Kharifa. Means a sharp wine. That's so strong it bursts the uh the containers. It's, it tastes almost like vinegar. Mar Yarnka. Bitter wine is Yarnka, which is a, a very poor quality wine. Mosaic Chulia. And sweet wine, something called Chulia. Um, they are sweetened by the sun, and it's not such a good wine. Um, yeah, 
So this is where we are, Chulia. Uh, Chamamasni Lulove, Luya Chad, Chamar Upopolin, Mar Aspentin, Mosaic May Barg. So Rav Chama said that there are good wines that, um, the snakes won't drink. The sharp one is the wine with peppers and it. it has like a, you put, it's a spiced wine. And so the snakes won't, won't uh, drink it. Uh, Mar Aspentin. The bitter one is Aspentin, which is absinthe. It has a, uh, an herb, a wormwood herb in it. It's, uh, Interesting that it's the same term, absinthe and aspintin. It's a very high alcohol content, a very rather a dangerous uh, thing to drink, to be honest. Mosaic uh, uh, may barg. Sweet wine is something called may barg. That means barg water. Barg is a Persian word for something of high quality. Um, Rashi says, Mashka meshubach. Barg, lush and paras, meshubach. That in the in, in the Persian language, barg means meshubach means it's it's praised. Kamaisusye barg, bechelik. Like in the Gemara, in the Sanhedrin, it calls about barg horses. All these three snakes don't drink, and you can leave it uncovered. I'm Rabbi Shimon Lakish, Karyena in Bishim Gilai, Karyena. Wine, Rish Lakish says, is uh, is allowed to be uncovered. My Karyena, what's Karyena? Revo, Cham Rachal Yad Asim Yasya. He said, uh, Karyena, or Babo says, is sweet Asian wine. Sweet wine that comes from Asia. Amar Rava, Vum Koyming Yesh B'Mishim Giloi, My Taimud, Uchmar Medinahu. But Rava says, in Asia, I, mean, I think what says Asia means Asia Minor, that's the local drink, and there the snakes do drink it. So then uh, you do have to worry about gilay. So it seems to be, depending on the local custom, the issue of gilay. Amarav ha'ichamer da'akrim ad lasa yoyme yesh b'mashim gilay m'shim yoyim nesach. So Rav says that wine that starts to become sour um, but didn't turn to vinegar all the way yet. So the first three days, you still have to worry about Giloy and Yain Nesach. So let's go to our next daf. I mean, to our next Amud, Amud Beis, Lamud Amud Beis. So those are the first three days. Mikan ve'elech, ein by mishum Giloy, ve'en by mishum Yain Nesach. So from then on, if once three days have passed, it's already vinegar. So snakes don't drink it, and pagans don't use it for their idolatrous rites. And our dam reya filu vasat losayim echshin mishem gilei my time at zimnan mikri shasi. But in the Narda, the people of Narda say, the chachamim there in Narda say, could even be three days after we're worried about gilei. The snakes sometimes do drink three day old um, uh, vinegar. Tanner Rabban and the rabbis taught in a brisa. Uh, uh, here's our uh, where we're up to. Yayin toises mishum gilei, the chametzis isas leish loish yamim shachlayim, ein ve mishum gilei when they go in the halav and iser. Um, wine that's in the process of fermenting. We don't have to worry about it being uncovered. It's um, it's still bubbling while it's fermenting, so the snakes are not going to drink it. And that that's there's three days that that lasts. And if you mix cress into ground cress into wine, then also snakes don't drink that, but. People outside the Holy Land 
um, think sometimes the snakes do. Particularly in Pumbedisa is where it seems that this is. We say B'nai Goyla. They were strict and they, they put an Isser in there. V'le'amaran el deleis buchala v'le'isl buchala migari b'hu. Um, but it, the people in Pumdisa, if there was some vinegar in there in the wine, so the, the snakes don't like vinegar, so then they don't have to learn, worry about that. Right. Babylonian dip of whey and moldy breadcrumbs, which is pungent like vinegar. Uh, you don't have to worry about uncovered liquids, but the people in Pumbadisa didn't eat it because they don't think it was pungent enough to make a snake go away from it. Uh, Amr of Mish, Mish, Menashi, Menashi said, It has holes in it because it is, you know, somewhat solid. Looks like snakes bit into it, then we don't eat it because maybe, because then the snake probably ate it. And Rav Chia Bar Ashi and Rav Shmuel Mitif Tifin Mishraim Giloi Rav Chia Bar Ashi is the name of Shmuel that if liquid is dripping, tiff, tiff like drop, drop um, there's no issue of Giloi there where is our tiff, tiff let's uh here it is, Tif Tif. Amber Mishim Gilamar of Ashi, Vahu, the Ovid Tif, Mahade, Tif Tif. And Ravashi said that's only if there's, it's constantly dripping. Tif, 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 drop, 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 drop. That scares away the snakes. The snakes don't hear with their ears, but they do feel vibrations through their belly. And so that's, uh, that's the reason why it would still, uh, you know, that type of tiff tiff. That's something snakes would be able to hear. Amar Rav Chia Barashi Mishmuel, Chia Barashi said in Mishmuel, "Pita enay by Mishim Gilei." The mouth of a fig, you don't have to worry about it being uncovered. When you pluck a fig from the stem. There's an opening there. And there's some liquid. You don't have to worry that the snake bit the fig. Come on, so who teaches like this? Um, uh... Hi Tana Sanya, like this Tanya, we learned in Bryce or Blazer and Blazer said, I called him an oven with Satan Belial and the Hoshis. A person is allowed to eat grapes and figs at night, and he has to, doesn't have to worry the snake bit it. Shem 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 Because it says in Psalm 116, verse 6, that Hashem, the Lord, protects the simple people. So there we are. Hashem Psalm Hashem. Amar of Safra. That's where we're up to. Amar of Safra, Mishim of Yeshua, Dreyma. If Safra said the name of Yeshua, the southerner. Shloishim in the air is saying there are three types of venom. Shalbacher Shakea. A young snake's venom goes to the bottom. Shalbainim if it A middle aged snake, the venom goes to the middle. Shalzak and Saf. An old snake. The snake, uh, venom from old snake floats on top. Remember the cham the kashish kachush chele. So that means that an old snake is weak. Sanya shloisha calls much miskin gvura to sefes behen veilohin dog nachish bechazer. So uh, how could that be? Do snakes really become weaker as they get older? Um, because we say there are three things that get stronger as they become older. Those are the fish, the snake, and the pig. So the answer is Koyach Osufe, Huda Kamoisif, Zahari Kolish. The answer is that the snake's actual 
physical strength becomes stronger, but the potency of the venom weakens. So, how do we know that venom from a young snake sinks to the bottom, and what what legal purpose does that serve to know such a thing? If you leave a barrel uncovered, even if nine people drank from the barrel, they drank just from the top, the tenth person shouldn't drink from it, because it was a story, it happened once that t- nine people drank from a barrel and didn't die, and the tenth one died. Be- so Rabbi Yirmi said, it's okay. Rabbi Yirmi said, it's because the venom sank to the bottom, so only the one who had the wine from the bottom died. What about a watermelon? That uh, that was uncovered. I mean, you left it open, cut without any cover. So so too from the watermelon, nine people could eat it and not die. The tenth could die, and it happened that nine ate. From the same watermelon that t- and didn't die, the tenth ate and died. And Rebbe said it's because the uh, or some says Rebbeirmia, it's because the venom sank to the bottom. Um, Rabbana, rabbis taught in a brisa. Mayim shnisgalu. So the rabbi saw a bris. If you have water that was left uncovered, you shouldn't spill out in the public area. Because someone might be drawing, walking barefoot, and the, he might have a cut in his foot, it could poison him. He shouldn't sprinkle it on dust to keep it from rising. The same reason, he shouldn't need clay with it. Maybe it will go. Maybe he has some, some opening, some wound on his hands. Gonna uh, be uh, when he's kneading the clay, and it's gonna poison him. He shouldn't have his animal drink it, nor his friend's animal drink it, because they could die. Um, you shouldn't wash his hands, face, face, hands, or feet with it. But some say it's only when there's an indentation. In the body, that's where you can't wash. But if there's no indentation in the body, then you can wash, because just... Being on regular plain skin is not a problem as far as poison. So the opinion of the others, that's the Tanakama. The difference is the top of the hand, the top of the foot, or the cheekbones, there's no opening, so that should be fine. Amar Mar. So the master said, uh, You shouldn't give um, the animal to drink water that was left uncovered. But we have a different price. We have a different price that said you could feed your own animal that. So what is that talking about? That's talking about cats. Cats can drink snake poison and not get sick. He said, why can't you Feed your friend's cat this water, not let him drink it. The chachish, so he might get weak from drinking venom, even if he won't die. The inami kachish, but then his own cat could also get weak, even if he doesn't die. Hari baria, it's okay, it's not permanent, he'll get better. The chavri nami had baria, but your friend's cat could also uh, get better. So, zimnan de boy lezabuna. 
No, because maybe he wants to sell the cat while, and it's weak then, and, and no one's going to want to buy a weak cat until it gets better, and so he's going to lose out. Once it gets better, the guy bought another cat, it's too late, and so it's it's a monetary loss. So Rabbi Yechonon said the name of Yehudim and Rav Ashi said Rav Ashi said the name of Yechonon and Rav Ben Sera. There are three types of wine: Yain Nesa Chasa Banoa, wine that was actually poured as a libation to an idol that's prohibited in any benefit. Tami Tuma Chamor Bekazayas, and it brings a very strong Tuma, like a corpse, even if it's. Um, Even if it's uh, an olive's amount, and then we're going to have the next uh, daf talks about stami and moser bano, mitami tumas mashkim derivias, regular wine of a pagan that wasn't poured out, then it's uh, you can't have benefit, and it has tuma on the revius. And uh, if and if you left wine with a pagan for safekeeping, you can't drink it, but you can derive benefit from it. Um, we're going to talk about that's the one opinion. We're going to talk about different opinions we have here. I would like to do another daf, but it's late. I want to go in the house. I know the kids are going to make noise. So, um, time to daven. Marv, guten chaydish. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment, and all the best.